Hey everyone, Lord Commander Guts here. Sorry I'm a little sick, uh, so I'm going to try to keep this as uh, short as possible. But here's the next step once you get your stuff ported over. Um, the best way to do it is to connect your SDK. So to do that, all you really have to do is authentication. And if you already have Mod.io, this is pretty much going to be for people who've already created mods. You'll just connect your Mod.io. Otherwise, it's going to be from here if you're new. <coughs> I'm close this real quick. So, um, Let's start with a new mod uh, wizard. So if you are new to modding, you're going to create your mod here and create and go through the steps. It'll walk you through it, so it's going to be pretty straightforward if you're new. However, if you <clears throat> are uploading a mod that you've already made, once you complete the authentication process, uh, which it pretty much has everything there written for you, so you just fill out the blanks, it'll uh, ask you for your mod.io email, put that email in, it'll send you a code token, and then you get that token, then you copy paste it into the SDK, and it will leave, uh, log you in. So, as you can see, I'm logged in right now. Uh, once you get authenticated, then you go to packaging. Uh, for packaging, now I have Whiskey Outpost here, but that's because I have the new mod wizard. Uh, you will not be able to do this for your other mods, even though once you're logged in, you'll be able to see a lot of the mods that you do have here. So make sure you have a mod set up for each uh, mod that you have here. So I have a bunch, as you can see, I have all of these, but only Whiskey Outpost has actually been set up. So um, I can only package Whiskey Outpost code. And pretty much this is how you would package. You just put all this if you want to see where the location is, and you base the package. And then it will uh, link it to everything that you need to, to worry about. But I wouldn't worry about that right now. Um, and then once you are packaged, you can upload. Uh, right now I have to go through the steps. If it's a new mod, if you already created a mod, you just go to your mod list it's already linked to your mod IO and then I'm going to upload a new file for whiskey outpost go to zips whiskey outpost and there's whiskey outpost right here boom version 5.0 change log updated to work on 4.26 upload file and it'll do and that's pretty much it uh, so now notice the here, I'll go back real quick there's this tick right here make primary release this this determines whether it should be the live version the active version so it will automatically set it so you don't have to actually go manually into the edit mod settings here go to files and manually make it primary so that's that's actually pretty cool because yeah before you'd have to press this primary release but now you can do it through the SDK. And now you can see that the version is going to be updated. It went from 4.6.1. And now you'll see uh, version 5.0 is there. And it, should, it says here it's made primary release. So it might just take a minute to update this to 5.0. And then it's, it's ready. It's live. And that's pretty much it uh, for getting your mod set up and packaging and uploading your mods. It's not too difficult just kind of take through the steps. And it's a little time consuming if you have like a long list like, like this that I have. So you're gonna have to go through each mod and create a new mod for it independently and then when you go to uh, upload it you can just go through your mod list rather than uh, upload the mod here. So if you want to upload something new then yeah you go here. But if you already have this link to your uh, mod your mod IO you can definitely just go through there. And that's it. We'll make more tutorials later on, but uh, I'm kind of sick and yeah, I just want to keep this short. Anywho, I'll make more videos, uh, so yeah, keep an eye out, uh, give me a follow, subscribe, whatever. Uh, I definitely appreciate that and it helps my channel out. So yeah, Lord Commander Guts, aka Mike G, signing off. Catch you guys uh, next video.